definitely the original Hank, and this is a notarized document from Hank's veterinarian. The rumors of Hank's demise had spread so far and so fast that the Brewers called a news conference with the Wisconsin Humane Society to clear the air. I can also confirm that his microchip is a match to the one and only Hank. The controversy began when a blogger comparing two photos of the one-time ballpark stray suggested Hank was an imposter. And as the story spread nationally, the Brewers began to play along. Yes, did we try to uh, get a little more juice for the story? Absolutely. The team fueled the buzz by refusing to confirm that the original Hank was still alive and well. Yes, you could have put this to rest days ago. Why didn't you? Well, you know what? I will tell you that uh, once it got crazy, uh, we were thinking about how to address it. Frankly, we decided let's do something where we can really use it as an opportunity to highlight the mission of the Wisconsin Humane Society. So the concern about Hank's well-being spread across the country, but maybe nobody was more concerned than his own family. I have four boys and the little one, of course, mortified. Um, sad. I mean, Hank really is their, their dog. Not about Hank, who they knew was fine, but about those rumors. My kids can't wait for us to come out with the proof. They're the kids of two lawyers, so they're like, give the evidence, Mom, give the evidence. So uh, the mystery is solved. Hank is fine. But there's more to this story. The, the bump, the boost, the payoff from Hank's renewed popularity may just be starting. You see, the Brewers had already planned to roll out new Hank merchandise this year. The Wisconsin Humane Society gets 20% of the sales. They've already collected $150,000 from Hank gear. We can expect those numbers to jump up now as a result of all of this. Reporting live at Miller Park, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Kent. A lot of you are talking about the Hank saga on our Facebook page. You can join the online conversation just by liking WISN 12 News. And if you missed today's announcement, head to our website, WISN.com. We have the entire news conference posted. You'll find the link in the homepage.